Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Kokoro Care subscription boxes. Make sure to stay until the end because I'm going to be doing a giveaway with them so you could win a box of your own. Kokoro Cares is a curated subscription box that uses all natural, premium quality Japanese foods that is delivered straight from Japan to your door. So everything in the box is artisanal. It is made from farms that the company Kokoro Cares actually has direct access to. So it's a lot of like smaller companies, mom and pop farms. So everything in here has like no additional preservatives, no additional whatevers. It's all healthy food. So I'm sure by now you would know that I wouldn't necessarily call myself a healthy eater. I do try to make healthier choices when I'm eating at home, especially when I'm cooking, but I like all sorts of food, not just healthy food. But I really appreciate not only is the food additive and preservative free, but I like that they have a good connection with their farmers and their other small vendors. While I do get feedback that prices are a bit higher than normal subscription boxes, I want you to know that this is like premium quality food, it's not just a snack box. A lot of the items actually have a good amount of whatever it is in it, so it's not just like you eat it one time and it's gone. A lot of the items I could use repeatedly for multiple dishes. What I also like about the items in this is that you can't get them anywhere. Even in Japan, it's hard to actually get these items. For example, in a lot of snack boxes, you can get the items or similar items in Japanese markets in the States. But since these are like so artisanal, you definitely cannot find them at markets in the States. Like I've never seen any of these products in the States or elsewhere. And it, I actually haven't even seen them in markets in Japan. They're very like things you find at the farmer's market. So they're very, very exclusive, which I think is really, really cool because I get to try things I've never had. Anyway, today I'm gonna be unboxing the August box. So I actually haven't opened and looked at this box at all. So I don't know what's in here yet. So in it, you get the information card and it has the month's theme. This is summer celebration. And then it has some Japanese cultural info that is related to the theme. And on the inside, they have information about each item in English. So you don't have to worry if you don't speak Japanese. And it also has the ingredients of each item. Kasha. So since this box is summer celebration, they are including some of their favorite summer foods. So let's see what is in this box. So the first one I grabbed is the biggest one and it is the Izumo Soba, which you eat like Hiyashi Chuka. Hiyashi Chuka is a really popular summer ramen noodle dish where it's cold noodles and a bunch of toppings on it. So this looks like it is the soba version. Soba is a buckwheat noodle. It is way healthier for you than ramen. I don't know if you could see, but it comes with fresh noodles and it comes with dressing inside. And you just get the toppings, which is like ham, crab, tomatoes, cucumbers, chop it up, throw it on top, mix it all together, and it is so good. This is a perfect example of like the quality and amount of food you're getting. This is one of the items and it is basically a full meal. It's like full on real noodles, dressing, you just put the toppings on and it's, yeah, it's like big. And this stuff is why this box is awesome. The next thing I grabbed, which is the next biggest package, is the mixed seaweed salad. This is a popular cold dish in Japan. This one uses five different seaweeds from Hokkaido and you guys know how much I love Hokkaido. It sounds like it's dried, so you just rehydrate it in water for like five to 10 minutes and you have a full seaweed salad. So I'm actually going to try that and see how it is. Five minutes later. I soaked the seaweed in water. It is very hydrated now. It's really slimy. I didn't squeeze out all the water, even though I probably should have. Um, I will do that later, but I am gonna try it. Itadakimasu. Mmm, that is slimy. Make sure to squeeze out more water. Um, it does taste like the ocean though. It's very fresh. It doesn't have a lot of flavor, which is sort of nice. I think this would be really good on like a salad or something with a dressing. It would honestly be good with this, but all in all the quality tastes good. It tastes like really good, real seaweed. The next thing is actually a drink and it is Furutsu Amazake Blueberry Flavor Fruit Amazake. Amazake is a traditional sweet sake that is non-alcoholic and it is made for fermented rice. 
like I said, it's naturally pretty sweet, so it doesn't have additional sugars. You could drink it, um, or for this one, I heard it's actually good if you like freeze it and it turns into like a sorbet. I don't typically like amazake, so I'm interested to see how this is because it's fruit and blueberry flavored, so maybe it'll taste better. It still smells like amazake, so we'll see if I like it, but come fight. Okay, okay, not as bad as I thought. You could actually taste the blueberry a lot, even though if you can't smell it, so it's sweeter and more flavorful than plain amazake, which I guess makes sense. This actually probably would be good frozen and turn into a sorbet, so I recommend you try that. And the next one is sweet corn rice porridge. It says, Tomorokoshi, Hokkaido, sweet corn no okayu. Okayu is porridge, sweet corn from Hokkaido. Hokkaido is famous for their corn. They're famous for a lot of foods, but corn is one of them, so I'm actually really excited for this. You can mix this up in 60 seconds with water and it becomes a really sweet, nice porridge. And by the way, this also contains brown rice, so it's like a brown rice porridge with corn. Next is this Asaya vinegar. It is a Yamanashi red wine vinegar and it's aged five years. I'm actually really excited to try this. I generally do like Japanese vinegar. It's a little bit sweeter than the vinegar you can in the States, especially red wine vinegar. I mean, it's sweet sort of everywhere, um, but I really want to try this and the color is really pretty. This is another perfect example of like a good quality item that they put in. Cause like, look at the size of this. It is like a normal vinegar. So it'll last actually months, long, long, long time. Japan has so much packaging. Oh my God, I'm so scared. I'm going to spill this everywhere. It smells really good. So I just put some on a spoon and try, itadakimasu. Oh! So it smelled really good and really sweet. It tastes so sour. It is so good though. The flavor is amazing. Like I said, this is gonna last you forever. That is so potent that really a little bit goes a long way. So if you make salad dressing out of it, you don't actually have to use like half a bottle you can just use a small amount. So this is gonna last a really long time. It is really good. And the last two are these two types of furikake. Furikake are dry seasonings that you could put on rice or anything basically. One is unagi sancho, which is eel, and the other one is ayu, which is little sweet fish. So both of these, unagi and ayu, are really popular to eat in the summer. So these are very, very seasonal. Um, I'm actually gonna also try these. So on my rice, I did half of the eel and half of the sweet fish. The sweet fish looks like normal furikake, it's fairly dry. The eel actually looks wetter, so it's more like a wet topping. Um, but the smell of the eel when you open the packet and pour it on is so good. It's so strong. I'm so excited to try that. I'm gonna try the ayu first because it's a bit more mild, so I want, I don't want the unagi to overpower it. So I'm gonna try that. Itadakimasu. Mm-hmm, mm, that's good. The fish is flaked so finely, it gets in like everything. Oh man, that's good. It's very light. Mm. Man, it's good. Okay, before I eat it all, let's try the unagi side. Oh, it smells like really high quality eel sauce. Mm-hmm. That flavor is amazing. This one's a little crunchier than I thought it would be. It's not as overpowering as I thought it was going to be just by the smell. When you actually eat it and put it on something, it mellows out a lot, it's really good. Honestly, I thought I was gonna like the unagi more, but I really like the ayu. Hmm. And that concludes my unboxing and taste test for Kokoro Care's package. I highly, highly recommend you try it out if you want some really unique and good quality Japanese food. In my description, I'm gonna put the link so you can get your own and also use my discount code, Sylvia underscore 10 for 10% 10 off your first order. Also wanna say thank you to Kokoro Cares for sending me this box. Make sure to follow me on Instagram because I will probably be posting this when I'm done and also other Kokoro Cares boxes that come in every month.
If there are healthy Japanese foods that you like, let me know in the comments. I would love to try more healthy foods as opposed to just snacks. Thank you so much again for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Mata ne!